Hey, ever wondered? In the fading 1970s Hollywood lights, we say goodbye to iconic actresses and stars who once graced the silver screen. Captivating audiences with charm and talent, they've now taken their final bow. Would you like to find they here again? Come back in time with us and rediscover the memories. Hollywood actresses and movie stars of the 1970s have passed away. Judy Garland was an American singer, actress, and vaudevillian. Born Frances Ethel Gum was born on June 10, 1922 in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, USA. She rose to fame as a child star in the 1930s and became one of the most iconic and beloved entertainers of her time. Garland's career began with her performance as Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz 1939, a role that catapulted her to international stardom. Unfortunately, Judy Garland passed away on June 22, 1969, at the age of 47. The cause of her death was an accidental drug overdose. Judy Garland left behind a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Her contributions to music and film endure, and she is remembered as a cultural icon. If we could all be a little more gentle with each other, have a little more empathy, and maybe next year... The Ingrid Bergman. The iconic Swedish actress was born on August 29, 1915 in Stockholm, Sweden. She achieved international fame and won numerous awards for her work in both European and Hollywood films. Ingrid Bergman had a remarkable career that spanned several decades. Some of her most notable films include Casablanca, 10 Year 42, Daslight, 1944, and Notorious 1946. Ingrid Bergman passed away on August 29, 1982, on her 67th birthday. The cause of her death was breast cancer. Her battle with cancer was known to the public, and her passing marked the end of an era in the world of cinema. And also has the wrong timing. Because last year, when they did, because she gave the most beautiful performance. Yeah. Gilda Radner was born on June 28, 1946 in Detroit, Michigan, USA. She was a talented American comedian and actress best known for being an original cast member of the sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live. Gilda Radner passed away on May 20, 1989 at the age of 42. The cause of her death was ovarian cancer. Gilda Radner left behind a lasting legacy in the world of comedy. After her death, her husband actor Gene Wilder and her friends founded Gilda's Club a network of support communities for people living with cancer. The demands of writers, the demands within a scene, but that, those five years that all these things got molded. Vivian Leigh, the legendary British actress, was born on November 5, 1913 in Darjeeling, Bengal Presidency, British India. She achieved international fame for her iconic portrayals of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind, 1839, and Blanche Du Bois in a streetcar named Desire, 1951. She continued to excel in her craft with roles in films like Waterloo Bridge, 1940, and Anna Karenina, 1948. Sadly, Vivian Leigh passed away on July 8, 1967, at the age of 53, the cause of her death was tuberculosis-related complications. Lai's impact is also recognized through the Vivian Lay Archive at the Victoria and Albert Museum, which preserves her personal and professional materials. Hey, you know I was the only English member of the cast of Streetcar, but then the only interesting thing, I think, is to play as many different... Barbara Stanwyck. Born Ruby Catherine Stevens on July 16, 1907 in Brooklyn, New York, was an iconic American actress with a prolific Hollywood career spanning decades. Known for versatile performances in drama, comedy, and film noir, she earned four Academy Award nominations. Notable films include Stella Dallas 1937, Double Indemnity 1944, and Ball of Fire 1941. Unfortunately, Barbara Stanwyck passed away on January 20, 1990 in Santa Monica, California. The cause of death was congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COP. For giving me this special award. I, I tried many times to get it, but it's, and my wonderful group, they stunk many. Natalie Wood, the American actress, was born on July 20, 1938 in San Francisco, California, USCR. She had a successful career in Hollywood and was known for her roles in films such as Rebel Without a Cause, West Side Story, and Splendor in the Grass. 
Tragically, Natalie Wood passed away on November 29, 1981, at the age of 43. Her death occurred under mysterious circumstances while she was on a yacht trip with her husband, actor Robert Wagner, and actor Christopher Walken. In 2012, the cause of death was officially amended to drowning and other undetermined factors. Her work continues to be celebrated, and she is remembered as one of Hollywood's enduring talents. That we were in New York, you know, getting ready to go, and, and my um, public relations people had been... So we walked in, and there was a nice room, and there was, you know, a ceremony, and there were... Dorothy Stratton was born on February 28, 1960, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. She was a Canadian model and actress. Dorothy Stratton, acting in Playboy's August 1979 Playmate and 1980 Playmate of the Year, rose in fame. She entered acting starring in Scatan, USA, and Galaxina, drawing industry attention with her beauty and talent. Tragically, Dorothy Stratton's life was cut short. She passed away on August 14, 1980, at the age of 20. Her former husband, Paul Snyder, murdered her before taking his own life. The details surrounding her death are deeply distressing and have been the subject of various articles, documentaries and books. Uh, Playboy was looking for a 25th anniversary girl then, so it was right. a big contest. Uh, a male is more is sexier. Um... Joan Crawford was born on March 23, 1905, in San Antonio, Texas, United States. She was an American actress and one of the most prominent figures in the golden age of Hollywood. Some of her notable films include Mildred Pierce, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress, and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Tragically, Joan Crawford passed away on May 10, 1977, at the age of 72. The cause of death was reported as a heart attack. After her death, Joan Crawford left behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's iconic actresses. Photoplay magazine, I think it was, and, uh... And Billy Haynes, my best friend, said, better crawfish than cranberry. Gloria Swanson, the iconic American actress, was born on March 27, 1899, in Chicago, Illinois, USA. She had a remarkable career in the silent film era and later transitioned successfully into the talkies. Swanson is best known for her role as Norma Desmond in the classic film Sunset Boulevard, 1950. Her career experienced a resurgence with her role in Sunset Boulevard, earning her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. However, her career waned in the following years. Gloria Swanson passed away on April 4, 1983, at the age of 84. The cause of her death was a heart ailment. She left behind a legacy as a pioneering actress in the early days of Hollywood cinema. You're gonna go from there into all kinds of places like Denmark and uh, Argentina and Chile. Uh, they're inclined to have, uh, I think, a longer marriage. Jill Clayburgh. The American actress was born on April 30, 1944, in New York City, New York, USA. She had a successful career in film, television, and theater. Jill Kleber gained prominence in the 1970s for her work in films that explored women's roles and relationships. She received Academy Award nominations for her performances in An Unmarried Woman, 1978, and starting over 1979. Jill Kleber passed away on November 5, 2010, at the age of 66. The cause of her death was chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Her contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly her work in portraying realistic and relatable female characters, are remembered and appreciated. And she was, she was a, a, a ballet dancer. She loved the ballet. Then she so strongly wanted it and has really uh, proven herself. Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who watched this video until the end. If you like this content and want to show your support, please hit the subscribe button, like this video and share it with your friends. But your support really means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more exciting then and now stories coming soon. Until next time,